cork and roll up the hash. Come on. How's it going everybody? Uh, in this video I'm going to walk you through some of the new features in this uh, machine version 2 mapping. Uh, there's been a lot of positive feedback with this mapping. I, I really appreciate all the support that you guys have given it. Um, a lot of downloads for it so thank you very much. Um, so what you, for the most part, for the most part the mapping has remained the same. Uh, a lot of the uh, features on the pages here for the knobs and the buttons up here have remained the same. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time walking through these because the the pages are really self-explanatory. Um, and also, most of the mapping has remained the same. And uh, if you want to know what the pads are mapped to, you can hold shift and uh, press show pads. And as you cycle through the groups here, it's going to walk you through all the uh, all the settings here for what the what the pads are mapped to. So there's a couple of uh, major changes that were made in this mapping. Uh, on group B, I got rid of uh, the loop pads. They just, I wasn't using them that much and I felt they were kind of redundant. Um, I've got a Z2, so I do most of my looping on there, controlling most of my loops on there. Um, so I just got rid of that. Didn't think it was really uh, all that beneficial. The major change in this mapping is uh, on group E and F and uh, also on, on group B here as well. Uh, so what you saw in the beginning of the video was basically a Serato style slicer, uh, but mapped to these eight pads here for tractor. Um, the key, the keypads are still here, but I've got the keypads on top and then the slicer, uh, slicer on the bottom eight pads here for, uh, for deck A on group E and for deck B on group F. And then on deck, on a uh, group B, You've got the slice pads for deck A on the bottom here and the slice pads for deck B on the top here. So if you're not familiar with the uh, Serato Slicer, uh, it's a pretty popular feature that's in a lot of their newer controllers like the uh, DDJSX, uh, the SZ, the SX2. And basically what it lets you do is uh, set a temporary cue point in your track. And then instead of having eight hot cues, it'll slice up your track uh, into eight beats across the, across the eight pads here, starting from the first uh, invisible cue point. So the benefit of this is that you don't really have to, you know, go in and set up your eight cue points ahead of time. You can just kind of find a spot in the track that you really like, set a temporary cue point, and then you can start slicing up the track, which is what I was doing in the beginning. And then what I was also doing was triggering the cue points. So I'll, I'll quickly trigger, uh, trigger a cue point here. So as you can see in my uh, deck A, I've got a temporary cue point set here. So you'll notice that there's not actually any cue points like jumping to those uh, parts of the track. So, and how I did this was uh, using the beat jump feature and uh, a combination of different mapping combinations to get it to jump to uh, the right area of the track. Uh, so you can do some really cool things with having these slice pads and the key pads up here. Um, you can almost start to play like notes with these key pads. So. And then to make it really uh, intuitive, you know, because you don't want to, you don't want to play, you don't want to play the track uh, at that at that high. Uh, so when you're done your performance, basically what you can do is when you're ready to, you know, conclude, you hold uh, the shift button here, the record button, and what that's going to do is actually reset your uh, key knob back to zero here so you can get back to the uh, get back to the original track um, so it can be pretty pretty crazy if you're doing this with uh, 
with like a full song like this. Um, where I found it, where I found I've been using it the most is uh, with acapellas. So if I go into my uh, group or group F, which is controlling a uh, deck B, I've got a uh, acapella loaded up here. It's uh. about to go down. Got so you're familiar with that Jay Z track? It's uh. It's bow bow go 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 bow bow it it bow it bow 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 it it bow it bow it bow bow bow. Now sometimes the slices, uh, and I'm not 100 percent sure why. Sometimes they won't land exactly on point. Bow bow it. But um. It bow it bow bow it bow bow go. But so far it it does work. It 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 bow 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 it it. So far it does work pretty well. Uh, an important part is to have your uh beat grids lined up right so that the pads know where to jump to. Um, so yeah, with, with acapellas, this works, this is super fun for performance here. So if I load this, uh, track up, if I load a track into deck A, come on, come on, I'm going to get this synced up real quick. Come on, come on, what we want to do is party. Come on, come on. So yeah, with uh with acapellas, it gives you a lot more uh expression with, with the acapella because now you're not just stuck triggering um you know just triggering the same cue point it gives you you know a bit more you can yeah you can just really play with uh you know play with the different notes of the acapella if you will um so to walk through a couple other features here basically any any pad any pad on this page if you hold the shift button and press press any pad it's going to reset that uh reset that key knob to uh, zero here so it doesn't matter what pad you're hitting um you can just hold shift or it doesn't matter where the key is you can just hold shift it's about to go down got six model chicks and uh it'll reset hold shift reset uh hit a pad and it'll reset that uh, key knob to zero um a couple other features the uh, the browse uh, knob here has been fixed um, when you're playing a track uh, let me get this one going back to the beginning here your pad will come light on, up in come time on. With whatever the come on, track come on. tempo is what we want to do is party um, on the remix decks here I've implemented uh, view meters onto the pads for each slot so if I were to load load this into a remix deck You'll see, that these are, Come on. you'll see that the pads are jumping to reflect the uh, the track or the slot volume for for each cell in the remix deck here. And that's the same for C and D. Um, other changes that have been made. Those are really those are really the major uh, features of this mapping. Um, so I encourage you to download it. Play with that slice mode and play with the key mode and uh, see what you can come up with. Uh, I know that this is probably, I've been using this mapping out a lot and this uh, this slicer and the key keypad has probably been the thing I've been using the most out of anything on this mapping. So if you have any other uh, questions about the mapping, feel free to leave a comment or uh, you can also subscribe, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel or you can even contact me at rdej47 at gmail.com. So I hope you guys enjoy this mapping and uh, have fun. Thanks.